Yeah, I'm on my way to uh, the quick stop down here. I have to, I'm not taking the pickup because I have to save my gas for Tuesday when I go in and find out about my MRI. Yeah, so I'm walking, which is nice. It's kind of the first real winter walk of the season. I'm going to get down there and get me some dish soap because I've been cleaning the place up. So I actually ran out of dish soap last night. Then I have a project that I need to fix for the boss lady. She uh, she wants me to build a receptacle for the packages that come in, basically. So that will keep the the weather off of the, the packages. So we'll do that here when we get back. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Okay, friends, I decided to come back for my bicycle. Uh, yeah, I've got pedal against the wind. It'll make it a lot faster though. And until I get down to the hill up here past the graveyard, I should have the wind on my back. So I just don't want to spend all day walking to town. So I fear it's worth the extra energy. I want to get back in time to build that eye. That package protector for uh, the boss lady. So, once again, we're off. I'm always a little bit off, I guess. This is one of my favorite spots on the walk. Those old like picker cabins or whatever those are. I like how they're in such good shape and how kind of ghostly they look. Not in a like haunted scary way, but more in one of those like I've seen it all and I'm still standing kind of ways. So that one with like that hayloft. Make a perfect post-apocalyptic uh, shelter for like a night or two if you're traveling on the road or something. Boy, maybe more than a night or two. That thing is nice. I know, I'm easily impressed. Some people like new cars. Some people like old places. It's like my dad, the poor guy. Some people have really great taste in like jewelry and stuff, right? Other people, not so great. And they never seem to match the budget. Because my dad, he'd like, want to buy something or something, he'd go in and uh, he'd be like, oh, can I look at that? And they're like, that's $40,000. He's like, look, I got about 300. And they're like, follow me, sir. But it never failed. Even when he thought that he was trying to buy something that was like, well-priced or something, you know, affordable. Nope, his eye always took him to what he couldn't have. You know what I mean? That's a nice day. And the weird thing about Loomis, and this whole area, as far as I can tell, from like Tenasca all the way out to Oroville down the back road here, is that the wind can literally blow in two directions at once. It, uh, like right now I have it on my back. As soon as I get down past this hill though, it's probably going to change and be right in my face. Then on the way back, it'll be the same. Once I get to the top of the hill, then I'll be pedaling against it. Speaking of pedaling, maybe I'll hop on my bike and head down the rest of the way. It's icy and stuff and bad weather, so I can't really film while I ride. I, mean, I might try and pick off a couple shots if I can. Okay, the bicycle is definitely a good idea. The roads aren't slick yet. I'm just hoping that Tuesday they aren't iced over. Because even the slightest bit of ice, my pickup can't drive. I was talking with a buddy of mine here yesterday, actually. Said that his dad got studs put on his pickup truck. Cost him $1,800. 
as soon as I heard that, I'm like, well, I don't guess I can afford studs. <laughs> hey, at least I got one stud, right? I'm fighting with you guys. All right, well, it's gonna be a little bit more of this. I don't think we're gonna have time for the Christmas tree today. Maybe I'll try and do it tomorrow. It's just right up there. About halfway up. And there's a road to most of it. Last year, uh, wasn't it last year? Yeah, uh, there was like enough snow, it was chest deep. So it's gonna be a lot easier this go around. Okay, I'm gonna get us to the top of the other hill down here by the graveyard. And we'll start recording again. It's really cool. I'm very happy being able to put out videos faster. And I'm finally figuring out this editor. It's just slow go. I know these past few videos haven't been to the quality I like. Just having to figure out how to add soundtrack. Uh, get my, my uh, what do you call them? Tile cards, I guess. The, the words to go up right. And everything. Okay, I'm out of breath. I need both hands. I'll feel better once I get the MRI news back. So I know if I can start working out again, push myself a little bit. shape I haven't been working out at all though <sighs> feels good to get out a little bit it really does I had something I was gonna tell you when I turned the camera on I can't for the life of me think of it now though weird Okay, time to walk. It's actually pretty warm out now. I'm all bundled up though. I wore layers. <sighs> Might need a shed here in a minute. where Leroy's, uh, the Cowboys memorial was held. They're at the graveyard. I miss him, really miss him sometimes. He's one of those guys that like really listened and like tried as hard as he could to relate to how I felt more than how he would feel in a similar situation. It's a weird way to describe it. Is some, he was a really, really good communicator and a really, really good listener. And he was so knowledgeable. I better get down the bottom of this hell. Hey, cows. Hey, long time.
Oh, that's a nice old pickup truck over there, that blue one. Check that out. Dang. Yeah, I'm just an old pickup guy. So this is a nice little stroll through Loomis. Good, I just let y'all guys ride all the way with me to the store. Everybody, well, lots of people have their Christmas lights out now. That's cool. Check it out. I like these old fashioned kind of looking ones. Those larger bulbs, those are cool. Okay, be open, Jerry, be open. Hey, it's always this kind of weather, too, that I get down here, and he's not open. And I'm not seeing his truck, and I'm not seeing an open sign yet. I... Uh... <laughs> I guess not. And my buddy Aaron's home. Might stop by and see what he's up to. He's helped me out so much. It seems like every time I've had pickup trouble, he's, he's always been there. It's really cool. It's actually how I met him. I was broke down here last year, year before maybe. I couldn't get my pickup truck to start. He came over. I mean, it was a freaking blizzard. Cold, cold. He heard me trying to get it started. He came over with jumper cables and helped me out. All right. No dish soap for me. All right, I might should just go ahead and get on home. Boss lady wants this project done pretty quick. Yeah, I'll come back out tomorrow. Got to figure out what day it is. I kind of like this, I kind of need it. I've been in my head a little bit here lately and this is really kind of where I shine, you know? So we're gonna head on home. I'm gonna get the supplies for the project and then maybe we will set up in the in the gentleman that I work for his shop and, and work on it in there. That might be better. Okay, I'll hop on the bike. At least get down to the bottom of the hill here. It is picking up, I didn't realize it. We're just on the other side of Loomis now. Uh, it's really starting to come down. It feels good though. I like the endorphins of pushing myself there's also some study I found that there's a cold weather treatment that people do, like anybody can do. And what it does is it boosts our dopamine, I think. Yeah, it's a boosts dopamine uh, production. And then the reuptake doesn't cause us to crash because dopamine has a fluctuation if we get a high dose, which it's a feel good chemical, if we get a high dose of dopamine, then afterwards we have kind of a crash response where we duck down below baseline. Now, if I'm not mistaken, cold weather is the only exposure therapy that uh, releases dopamine that you don't have to pay for with the crash afterwards. Which explains, I think, why I always feel so good after doing one of these cold weather pushes. This hill here is deceiving. See the way it looks like it goes downhill, then up? It's an optical conclusion because this is still 
it feels like on my bicycle that this is still uphill, even though it doesn't look like it. It's hard to explain. Okay, I'll pedal a little bit more. It's really picked up. Can't really bicycle anymore. Once I get to the top of this hill, I'll be able to ride down it. And I'm probably pushing the bike the rest of the way. I should have checked to see that it was the weekend before I came. That's all right. I'll uh, maybe borrow some dish soap from the boss lady. Woo, it's nice out here. Hi cows. These are my friends, the cows. Those are the new babies over there. It's funny. All right, I got home about, oh, maybe 20 minutes ago. Hang on, we gotta check back here and see if I have the boards I need. I've gotta head up to the top of the orchard here, grab that uh, barrel. And then if I don't have boards here, we'll have to grab some boards while we're up there. I think I'm just going to do a basic X like the gentleman I work for. Oh, pardon me. Suggested. I wonder if I could use this stuff here. I've got these like 2 by 2 ish props. That might be better. And there's enough of them. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to work. Hey, somebody driving by with a Christmas tree. We'll get our Christmas tree tomorrow. Let's see. All right, these are what I'm going to use. Good. Then all we really have to do, we've got to go up to the top of the orchard and get the barrel. It's this plastic barrel. And then I'll have to go up to the shelter, grab my saw, and we'll get everything over to the shop. Because I think it's best to work in there. I don't know why I never think of that. I always make it harder than it has to be, really. That's why the gentleman that I work for is such a good influence. He's like, Matt, you make it a lot harder than it needs to be, kid. Uh, I'll learn one of these days. Okay, so to the top of the orchard, grab the barrel. Then I might make a ham sandwich real quick. And we'll head to the shop and get this piece together. If we get it done by the end of tomorrow, I think we'll be on schedule. Because when, when the boss lady asked me to do it, I asked her if uh, I could do it today and tomorrow. And she was like, yeah, man, no worries. So, get that out of the way. It really is nice weather. And I totally have that endorphin boost from the cold weather. Uh, it's really nice. It's strange. I've done so much, like work and meditation work and stuff uh, that I can feel the difference when I'm in a good mood or when I'm in kind of a flat mood or something. Gonna be time to get out the uh, other coat pretty soon. I really wanna get the inside walls of the shelter finished because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with poles. I'm gonna put poles horizontal, stack them up against the, the wall, the dirt wall, and then drive vertical poles into the ground in front of them. And that should basically make like a, a wall be a lot easier to keep things clean too. That's one thing about staying in a hole, it's really hard to keep things clean. So I think also maybe trying to rock the floor or pull planks down off of the old flume up here. That water eye, 
water reservoir that used to run through here. Okay, we're about halfway there. I wanna save a little bit of battery and time. So, let's see at the top. So I think, yeah, there we go, there it is. Smaller than I was thinking it was. Okay, we can work with this. Yeah, piece of cake. Okay, let's get to the shop. We'll start staging things out. Should be quick, fast, and in a hurry. I think we can get this done tonight. right now about going ahead and just staging the building equipment and then I uh, actually build it tomorrow when it's a little bit earlier if I spend tonight just cleaning up the house because this isn't going to take much time at all I don't think maybe a couple hours I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna walk up y'all won't be able to see anything so I'm just gonna set the stuff aside so we can work on it uh, first thing in the morning tomorrow Tonight, I'll spend taking care of the rest of the house, get it all cleaned up and nice, uh, do me up a big dinner, maybe edit this video together. I still really want to do the uh, recovery video about confidence, which I might be able to get to tonight, too. Yeah, I think it's the best thing. See, I always seem to overextend my plans and stuff, and that sometimes sets me behind so what i'm gonna do i'll stage that stuff up there edit this video out and then tomorrow we'll jump on finishing it which could be a whole nother uh video that could be cool all right i hope y'all guys have enjoyed this thank you so much for being there never give up never surrender because you're worth it